Hello everyone, it's Katrius here and something does not look right. Yeah, so something happened. Uh Well let's start with uh let's start with the usual. Last time we did um uh, the final uh we did uh TFRF's next uh abnormality, so we have her on level two right now. And then we got ascended to Star of the City! New stuff to go to do, and we unlocked Bina's floor just without Bina, which is weird. Um, what happened in the meantime is that I recorded or started to record a new episode, in which I was about to start with this reception because uh, I thought it would have support for Rose's page, so it's right above uh, the other charge cards, and well. But basically what happened is uh, my PC crashed mid-episode. So I did that reception and then I tried to do Keter realization, uh, Keter's next one. Which is brutal by the way. Since I've already uh, tried it twice, I can say that. So, yeah. That recording is gone. So what happened is I did that one reception, I unlocked Pogma's floor, I unlocked this uh, abnormality battle, and then my PC crashed. So, before we go back into that reception, because I still want to show it, we have to watch the scene, right? So let's watch the pre-battle real quick here. Yeah, this is so cool. I got it. Yeah, I'm going to T사의 그치, 네모 네모. 역시 내 말대로 됐지? 두 번째로 뵙는군요. 지팡이 사무소의 네모님. 그런데 말입니다. 이 음습한 기생을 위하여 빌어먹을 해볼 내가 있지. 언제 우리가 직접 간다고 말이나 했나요? 이따위로 이어질 먹이나요? 제발로 포수관에 들어가라고요. 게다가 저까지요. 네모 네모. 아까는 직접 도시의 별 의뢰를 열한 건이나 해치웠다고 자랑했잖아. 왜 그래? 혹시 후달리나? 어디서부터 들은 거지? 이건 문제가 될수 있어. 낱말은 새가 듣고 반말은 쥐가 듣는 거예요. 우리 말은 왜 해볼 바가지가 이렇던데요? 후달리냐고요? 네! 개 쫄리는데요? 사장이 흥분했어. 한동안 머리 식히느라 골치 아프겠군요. 유명하고 권위 있는 지팡이 사무소가 이렇게 말을 바꾸실 줄은 몰랐습니다. 해골대가 이씨, 제가 고찰 덩어리로 보이나요? 니네가 한 짓이 대놓고 개판이라 안 쫄릴 수가 없네요. 제가 보수관으로 들어간다. 그리고 만약 그곳에서 책이 된다. 그러면 더블에서와 티사 특이점에 대한 책이 생긴다. 엘사의 책이 있는 그 도서관에. 한순간에 나에게 세계의 특이점을 얻게 되는 것은 누구일까요? 곧 특허전 등이 벌어질지도 모르는 이 시기에! 
너무나도 노골적이라서 두 번만에 가치도 없는이다. 말해봐, 누가 시킨 거야? 누가 왜 불길하고 있던 수작 뿌리는 거야고? 이런 이런. <웃음> 아, 무슨 말을 그렇게 흥분하면서 하나 했는데 그 반듯한 네모 머리로 굴린 게 고작 그거야? 특이점? 특허 전쟁? 웃음도 안 나와 재미조차 없어 정말 실시한 거에 목숨 걸고 언성 높이는구나 너무 하찮아서 어이가 없어 네모네모는 우리가 고작 돈 따위나 벌자고 이러는 줄 아는구나 멍청이라 네모네모 난 네가 어떻게 생각하든 상관 안해 특허 전쟁? 배우? 돈? 편하게 생각해 하지만 서로 약속은 지키자고 플루토? 네 자, 다시 한번 계약서를 보시죠 요점만 말하면 우리는 지팡이 사무소에게 W사 특이점에 대한 정보를 지팡이 사무소는 그 대가로 우리가 원할 때 도서관에서 책을 찾아온다는 거죠 분명히 여기 네모씨, 마르티나씨, 바다씨의 서명과 저희 아르갈리아 단장님의 서명이 적혀있습니다 W사 특이점에 대한 정보를 도서관의 책으로 받는다는 소리는 못 들었습니다 게다가 직접 가져오려뇨 모호하게 쓰여져 있긴 하죠 그렇다고 이 계약서의 내용이 지금 상황에 맞지 않는 건 아닙니다 누구 마음대로 네모네모가 곧 특허 전쟁이니 뭐니 호들갑을 떨며 후다닥 서명했잖아 특이점에 대한 정보가 급하다뇨 우리가 직접 도서관에 간다는 말도 없었죠 지팡이 사무소만 갈뿐 약관을 잘 확인해 보셨어야죠 여기 보세요 뭐가 있다는 거야? 제 안경을 빌려드리죠 자, 크게 보세요 이 계약서에 서명한 자는 반드시 One year, but eyeglass is supposed to be enough for Martin to see it but, but Nemo with his machine body cannot see it 좋은 꼴은 못볼 텐데 이제 와서 우리가 순순히 이런 거짓 계약을 따를 것 같나? 이런 이런 이게 말이지 그냥 계약서가 아니거든 아 뭐라 했더라? 플루토? 어제의 약속입니다 맞아 어제의 약속 이름은 별로지만 어쨌든 이 계약서에 적힌 내용을 이행하지 않으면 서명한 사람에게서 아무거나 빼올 수 있다? 원하는 만큼 말이야 플루토? 네. 자, 보시죠. 바다 씨의 심장입니다. 어! 바다. 꽤나 돈좀 들이셨군요. 이런 고급진 시술까지 받고. 자, 다시 돌려드렸습니다. 봤지, 네모네모? 난 네가 어떻게 생각하든 상관없는데 약속만 지켜주면 좋겠어. 그리고 티사가 직접 하다란 명령이니 가야 하잖아. 어차피 도서관에 가야 하는 건데 그렇게 열리지 말라고. 하나만 물어보지. 응? 넌 저런 악마 새끼와 뭘 하려고 이러는 거죠? 세상과 인간의 아름다움을 연주할 거야. 우리가 지닌 외로움의 경계를 무너뜨려줘. 오늘 안에 처리해 주시길. 아름다. 도라이 새끼 바다 심장 괜찮아? 병원 가볼까? 돌아갔군요 사장 어쩔 거야 이거 아주 된통당했습니다 정말 괜찮겠습니까? 아무런 준비 없이 저희가 가도 여러분 단순하게 생각하자고요 심각해지지 맙시다 도서관에 들어가서 최대 챙기고 돌아오면 끝! 이겁니다 준비를 하자고요 분명 저 해골은 
전에도 푸른 장양과 함께 있던 놈이야. 그래, 어제 약속이라고 했지. 손님의 책에서 읽은 적 있어. 일반적인 계약서처럼. Yeah, we've heard of uh, Pluto before, or uh, of yesterday's promise. 확실한 건지는 모르겠지만 그로 인해 사건이 일어났다는 추측이 있기도 했고 실제로 보니 더 악질이네. 저렇게 사람을 이용하다니. 뭐 그렇지. 도시에 저런 식으로 이용하는 놈이 한두는 아니겠지만. Well, that's a loud 그래, thing. 서로 이용하는 곳이니까. Stop, you guys can hear it, though. 더 깊게 생각하기를 포기했을 뿐이야. 그게 정당하다고 생각하지는 않아. 네가 나를 이용하는 것과 내가 너를 이용하는 것도 같겠지. 네가 그렇다면 그런 거겠지. 걱정하지 마. 너를 믿지 못하겠다는 건 아니니까. 그저 그래. 그냥 경우의 수를 늘려둘 뿐이야. 조심해서 나쁠 건 없잖아. 그래도 엔젤라 너에게 거짓을 말한 적은 없다고? 말하지 않은 게 있을 뿐이지. 음, 네 말이 맞아. 됐어. 책이나 정리하도록 해. 굳이 키묻지 않겠다는 건가? 이유라도 있어? 별로. 지금 캐묻는다고 해도 네 모든 걸 알게 되면 재미 없어질 것 같아서 호기심 있는 편이 사람 간의 관계를 더 이어갈 수 있다고 생각했을 뿐이야. 어쩌면 너를 믿는 걸 수도 있고. 괴물 새끼들로 인해서 괴물 새끼가 있는 도서관으로 와버렸군요. 농담도 이런 농담이 없을 겁니다. 그래도 도서관은 점잖은 편이라 들었습니다. 잠시만요. 왜 그러시죠? 마티나. 네. 이곳을 어떻게 생각하시나요? 희미하지만 뭔가 냄새가. 그렇죠. 돈 냄새가 나는 것입니다. 냄새 맡지도 못하시잖아요. 하늘이 무너져도 구멍이 있는 법이네요. 책 장사라도 하시게요. 맞습니다. 계약 사무소라는 평판을 조져도 이곳에서 책을 구해다 팔려 굴만 빼지진 않겠죠. 사장은 돈이 썩어 넘치지 않아요? 마르티나, 우리 사장님은 뒷골목 사람들 1년치 밥값을 하루마다 쓰고 있는데 돈이 충분하겠어요? 그래도 상소 직원들 돈 떼먹은 적은 없습니다. 환영합니다, 손님. 당신이 이곳의 관장이자 창백한 사설인 엔젤라겠군요. 전혀 창백해 보이지 않지만요. 알아? 말 조심하세요. I wonder how they all know so much about the library. 앞으로 저희가 신세를 지게 될지도 모릅니다. Like the only one who ever got owed and stayed there was uh, Philip. Lulu and Sun died later. Alright, we watched that scene now. Now we can go into the actual fight. Alright, this is a 3v3 fight against Nemo, Martina, and Beta. And I want to use the Floor of History for that because we have Ego Pages and I kind of want to try them. However, I don't know what to use yet. I could use... No, I want to use the Easy Eugen page, that's for sure. And yes, this is the Easy Eugen page, the same one we used on the Realization. Completely unchanged, except this is still keeping its right in. Oh, that shouldn't make us... That, that shouldn't be too bad. I, if there's one thing I want to change, I have energy conversion in. That's a, that's a card we get in this fight, which is specifically why I don't want to use it. So I'm going to use the exact deck we've, we've used before. Yeah, that's, that looks not too bad. Let's start. Alright, Malkuth, Charlotte and Corbinian versus Nemo, Martina and Beta. Now this fight is actually not that easy and you can really feel the difficulty of a game rising up. These are another charge characters. All of them have exclusive abilities like Uncanny Strike which has a brutal first roll. Yeah. Or a Devastating Trash which has free good rolls. Now the old 
charge cards only have two rolls, which makes us a bit more awkward, but there's nothing we can do about it. We will get hit by this. Mm. This, however, could work out. And I would like to use this here. And overcome memories here too. So one thing we need to make sure is that we don't leave Martin at the last. Pretty sure we can do that though. I wanna use a creek here. Um, and overcome crisis, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, oh, yeah, because didn't hit anything. And evade dies are something I've started to really like. Right, that was a great first turn. Oh great, we can have happy memories. That's good for uh, for of easy Eugen. Well, if she wrote low rolls and we high roll, that's that's good. Uh you have no charge right now. And he's using his strongest attack. I could just not use anything here. Yeah. And use D-Rift here. You would just set that with repressed flesh. And oh we cannot set fire up, but we can gig gig for sure. Uh we can still do something here. Since they have a safe speed. Yeah, I could just energy cycle. Alright. Very good. Massive. This means Beta is for sure dead. Only sad thing is that we got happy memories before we got tailoring, but that's fine. Ooh, she will actually stagger us. Uh, unless we stagger her first, that is. Damn, she, she went first. Oh damn, are you asleep? Beta is still alive, which is sad. We use ashes on Mark Cook so we get more burn. Okay. They all attacked our Eugen, so that's sad. And we are not yet the like, right level for this. Uh, hmm. That goes here. One roll should be enough to alleviate the problem here. Uh, golden opportunity can go against the edges. Actually, I'm going against this. You can set fire here. Yeah. Good. 
Damn. I was kind of hoping to uh, get her, but not. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Beta's there, which is great. This time we should be able to uh, stagger her. That's actually really good. We can use Overcome Crisis. Twice. Yikes. And as a stagger, that's what we wanted. Hmm. Right, this exists. Ego play page played. And I think he's there now. Yep. strike and that should be it all right no he has passive but that should still be it nice 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 so yeah that's how the cane office works apparently we're gonna use our first ego page it's pretty cool now obviously i've done this before so haha <laughs> four percent 4% 4, 4 chance to att lose attack damage by plus 1. Nice. Okay, now... I don't have Bada's pages yet. I don't have Martin's pages yet. For Nemo, I really hope to get that. I, I'm gonna... Let's do this for now. Keep one book of Nemo, because that's needed. Guess I'm gonna crack open that book of Nemo. And I still have a chance to not get his page, so that's sad. Yikers. <laughs> oh, okay, that's sad. Uh, first off, let's watch the post battle scene. Kisurinica. 흥미로운 이야기가 많은데 이야기 좀 해줄까? 그런 건 나중에 이야기가 길어질 것 같네. 알사도 특허 전쟁에 참여한 적이 있을까? 글쎄 들어본 적은 없는 것 같네. 용병을 다루는 곳은 적지 않지만 알사는 중에서도 특출난 편이니까. 그럼 알사가 다른 날개의 특이점을 노릴 경우는? 그건 모든 날개가 똑같이 생각하고 있겠지. 보통 자신의 특이점만 사용하는 날개는 드물어. 알사도 분명 다른 날개의 특이점을 함께 사용하고 있을 거라고. 사용할 때마다 드는 비용도 있고. 
다른 날개의 특이점을 알아낸다면 그 비용을 절감할 수 있을 거란 거지? 맞아. All right, and after that, we also oh we can rematch the abnormalities. Oh, didn't know that. Nice to know. If I ever finish an abnormality and uh, and we get uh, we get cucked, then we can just do this. Good. Damn, they really thought of everything. Uh, after that, we unlocked Hokma. 종교라 종교. 위험하겠구만 이 친구. 와꾼 놀랑. 안녕 호쿠마. 앞으로 이곳에 책을 가져다 줄 놀랑이야. 그리고 엔젤라의 시종이지. <웃음> 그래 맞아. 시종. 넌이 일이 만족스럽나 보군. 죽지 못해 하는 거지. 만족이니 뭐니 뭔 의미가 있나. 넌 나와 엔젤라를 곱깝게 보는 부류구만. 보자마자 고압적인 자세나 취하고 말이야. 너희에게 보여줄 예의 따위는 없지. 내 믿음을 부쉈으니. 예서도와 말이 좀 통하겠는걸? 나 노직 한 사람의 소원을 위해 삶을 바쳐왔다. 엔젤라가 그 소원을 무참히 뭉갠 거고 그리고 난 그런 엔젤라를 돕고 있으니 못 봐주겠지. <웃음> 뭐가 됐든 서로 합의 봤다면서? 도서관을 완성하고 단 하나의 책을 얻기 위해 도우면 되는 거 아니야? 넌 엔젤라가 말하는 단 하나의 책이 존재할 거라고 믿나? 뭐라고? 당연히 어딘가 있을 테니 찾는 거 아닌가? 초대장이 그 책으로 인도해 줄 거라고 믿고 있지. 그 초대장이란 것과 엔젤라를 어떻게 그리 쉽게 믿을 수 있나? 네가 자유로워질 수 있다는 것도 말이야. 그거야 당연히... 도서관은 착실히 커지고 있고 엔젤라나 다른 사서들도 변하고 있잖아. 그게 네 믿음의 근거인가? 우습군 하고 싶은 말이 뭔데? 책이나 더 가져오도록 오랜 시간 동안 무료했으니까 Charming, isn't he? Our old grandpa Good old Hawkma Though I suppose I could also just call him dad Well, that's our dad, we got him so after we did that, I tried to do the uh, the Snow Queen. Snow Queen is not easy. I mean, let me start with that right up the gate. Uh, I definitely want to equip the Crying Pulp Children page. Angel still has her Singleton page, so that's easy. Uh, Bella gets Rose's page. But I want to do an update to that. Actually, I want to do an update to all of these. And you get... And yes, I know I haven't used it a lot lately, but I like the discard deck. And the rolls aren't that bad still. It was just that I've played against... Uh, uh, the, the Urban Nightmare was against a lot of characters who had... Uh, who had... Uh, dice bonuses. Oh, by the way, something we didn't notice is... Now, I, I don't think I have any key page of that office yet. So I cannot show it. I could try to find it. Uh, I do have Martinus page. So here she has fear path. Uh, fear. She here she has four passives. But if we fight against her, she has more. Basically, uh, enemies now also have attributive passives, which makes them a bit more difficult. Gotta pay even more attention to that now. I didn't in this uh, fight in particular. But I've read them out the first time I tried it. <laughs> they also have very interesting abilities that are way better with charge. Like Rose, Rose has ripped base, which is an incredibly good attack. But look at her abilities. Well, to be fair, with now 10 points, we can just uh, rip this out, go to Marna's page, and take energy discharge. Which, at emotion level 2 or above, if we spend charge, we get 1 strength. Which is great. We can also uh, re replace with this with this, and then we can use his Y page to... Can I find it? His Y fixes page? 
maybe? How far down is it? No, that's hook office. Okay, fair. To get more HP. So now we have all that in, uh, on top of the rose rose passives. Because energy discharge is great because it makes uh, her defensive skills better. Uh, charge shield, I mean. And energy discharge is great because it makes her stronger. We want that. This basically means that at emotion level 2 or above, everything gets better. Also, I want to update this deck completely. I could make a singleton deck out of it. I could make a but I could make a singleton deck, but honestly, knowing uh, having tried multiple singleton decks like uh, this one or this one even, I've noticed that singleton is just objectively the best thing to use, mainly because of Will of the Prescript. And while it's fun to use on one or two pages, it's not particularly exciting to use it on everyone. So I want to abstain from using too many singleton decks in the future, because I just feel it's a bit too strong. Like if I really struggle with something I might, but honestly I don't want to. However, we got a lot more charge cards, so let's let's look at those. And yes, for the first time we are actually deck building within a video. Isn't that great? Now something that my that, that Rash has brought to my attention is that we could technically use overcharge and rift space in the same turn if we have five light. So overcharge grants us 10 charge, rift space uses it all, and then next turn we would uh, basically do nothing. This would be better if this was on Nemo, because Nemo has a passive that makes him god, I think. But then we can't use rift space because rift space is uh, Rose, Celestia, and Sen exclusive, so that's kind of sad. So Golden Opportunity is a really good charge gain. It's a better charge gain than Dimension of Rift because it has an evade dice as a first, but also grants us more charge. This basically is get 7 charge sometimes, 5 charge most of the time, and usually don't get any damage. So I want to replace Dimension of Rift with that. We also have Absorb Impact, which is a block dice with 6 charge gain, but that's not so great. It only has 2 dice, and 3 dice is just better. Having more we can do. We can also use Energy Shield, but I think Energy Cycle is better. Also, I want to still use Leap. But there was one more. Oh yeah, and Energy Conversion is also incredible. This, this is the point where we can actually go for a 1-1 one, one here. One leap, one energy conversion, and I still want to use two ripple. We could also use ready up. So this is this is really where uh, the opportunity of a singleton deck arises, because we could use one one energy cycle, uh, one rewind or energy shield, then one leap, one energy conversion, uh, one gear riff, one golden opportunity, one ready up, one ripple. Like, that's, that's possible, but I like this more. Alright, that one's ready. Now we got two more points we can use here, so why not use it? Uh, I do want to put, yeah, I think I'm just gonna put the, the Classics Y on here too. Yes. So Aurora, she hasn't updated in a while, she says 5. Uh, Razor Strike, of course. And... Wait a minute. You always have 3 cards in hand, right? So you could use Rain Speed. You could use this. Yeah, why didn't I use that before? That's just one strength every turn. Looks good. Spot and anything left for here. Uh, actually, I do want Young Mi's what uh one of Young Mi's pages back. Restfulness. Um, since. At the start, when we don't have uh, lice yet, 
we will need to restore that one light so we can use an attack every two turns. All right, that's the setup for the fight. We have Roland on the unstable page of the crying children because she deals with more the most damage. We also use Aurora's page. Now nah, we use the unstable. Uh, let's try to do the Snow Queen. Yeah, as you can see, Roland is alone for now. We need to crush all these to access our other characters, which is a hassle because she attacks us with ranged attacks. So this is, this is a weird, this is a weird one indeed. So yeah, this is a ranged attack, this is a ranged attack, they'll deal a ton of damage, inflict free chill on top of it. But yeah. First off, what we want to do is we want to unlock Rose. We are going to do that, sure. With everything we have. That's come good damage dealt. Now we need to watch out. Uh, I wanna overcome crisis here and gig 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 here. Didn't work out that well. There, Roland will almost die. Uh, at the start of a scene of the characters for watch again too bind and too feeble. Oh, that's not good. Actually, yeah, this would be better. And gig gig gig. And we're staggered. Yeah, th th this one is a bit too brutal because we have to unlock our character before we die. And as you can see, we just die. And I don't really have a plan for this. And uh, except for defeat it before we die. Uh, damn it. I could try exchanging this with Aurora. That we uh, give him a discard, but I don't think I don't think I have the the stuff to do this yet. So we might have to do the other receptions first. However, I think that's all I've got time for today, or of this episode, because I have to uh, do the next episode too, since I don't have time to record tomorrow, and it's already the day that this releases. Yeah, we've caught up to that. Caught up to that a t uh, quite a bit ago, but yeah. So I'm gonna try and figure this out in my own time at some point. But for now, we'll stay at this. <laughs> However, uh, next time we're gonna either go for Hod or go for one more of these receptions. But I think we wanna go for Hod. I want to do hot stuff. So yeah, see you guys next time. Have a great time. Bye bye.